Uh, something that I have noticed uh, more I, I, in a personal note was my son came here without speaking a word of English. And the community is super welcoming and very open and we haven't experienced any negative, no interaction with people in here. But, but thinking about how my son would grow up here for at least five years, who are like, okay, I want him to feel confident, to feel proud of who he is and who not feel embarrassed or ashamed or as a second tier student for, for being bilingual. That's one of the things I really enjoy about Madison is that it's like small enough to where it doesn't feel overwhelming. Like we don't have the traffic that Chicago does, for example, but there's still enough different communities and different experiences that you can be a part of that like it doesn't feel small either. And so that was something that I was really looking for when I made the decision to go back to pursue graduate studies is I wanted to find an environment that would challenge me um, and that had different perspectives. So there's something that I really like, again, coming as a family in here, which is um, Eagle Heights. This is like this neighborhood that is beautiful, lots of parks, lots of green spaces, lots of families. And, and uh, people are like in a very, shared experience so it's very easy to become friends with your neighbors and you know just having kids hang out together and cooking out together but that's something that i really liked about being here i'm just gonna say the thing that i think is keep gives me life in madison after all these years is the abundance of delicious thai food that Madison's east side in particular harbors. Yeah, I think that the one thing that people don't realize about Madison, and it's one of the reasons why I was really interested in staying here, is that I have horses, I ride horses, and it is one of the few places where like, you can be downtown in 15 minutes, and you can also be in the middle of nowhere in 15 minutes. And so I can have this like close proximity in my horses and everything, and not everybody's gonna have a horse, I know that. But the amount of like natural spaces and areas that you can go to like rent a boat for a day and go kayaking or go hiking on the trails, take your bike and go mountain biking. Like um, a bunch of my former students were huge into mountain biking and there are these great trails that you can actually bike to from Madison. And like there are little cafes the whole way down uh, because they know that you get hungry and thirsty on that ride. So. Just those types of things, I think are really unique to Madison in general, because there is such a focus on like, even though it's cold, even though we have snow and it kind of sucks for a couple of months out of the year, like we really enjoy our outdoor spaces and there are a lot of different opportunities to be able to engage in that.